All stations on Dragon, one minute until configure for terminal count. T-minus 30 seconds. Fifteen seconds. Top nine, go for propellant loading. Dragon is in countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Ignition. It's just after midnight on March 3rd, and you are looking at a live view of the Dragon spacecraft as it approaches the International Space Station for a planned docking in just under two and a half hours from now. Dragon 2, Dragon V. Dragon, Dragon. And in case you missed it, which I don't know how you could have, the mission began just about 24 hours ago when Falcon 9 lifted off from historic launch pad 39A in Cape Canaveral at 2.49 a.m. local time, lighting up the sky, Falcon 9 carrying Crew Dragon in Dragon V. Dragon. Dragon is Dragon. The Dragon will Dragon V. Dragon all Dragon and Dragon ca Dragon's ca Dragon is Dragon's Dragon Dragon and 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 Dragon Dragon and 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 of course, all of this supports the mission of the International Space Station, humanity's premier laboratory in space, where we're pushing the boundaries in science and technology every single day. The space station and its history is really interesting. It's been up in orbit for almost two decades now. Uh, let's take a close look at how the International Space Station came to be and its role in furthering human space exploration. The International Space Station, a football field-sized, million-pound laboratory flying around planet Earth at 17,500 miles per hour. It's our home in low Earth orbit and the bridge to exploring the far reaches of our solar system. A place to learn what it takes to live, to work, to thrive in space. Thanks to space agencies representing more than a dozen countries around the world, it went from the drawing board to liftoff when the first piece flew into space in 1998. That kicked off over a decade of construction, hauling the station to orbit piece by piece on NASA's space shuttle and Russian rockets. And after the first crew arrived in November 2000, we started an unbroken streak of humans living and working in space. Building on the legacy of past outposts like Skylab and Mir, the International Space Station became the training ground for humanity's next great journeys. Learning how to live in space for extreme periods of time, building and perfecting the technologies necessary to travel to our neighbors in the solar system. It gave us a place right on our doorstep to prepare for the next giant leap into the unknown. And thanks to the station, a new era in outer space is unfolding. What was once the domain of only nations and governments is now populated by a growing space fleet from American industry. Private spacecraft to fly cargo and crew members, new habitats and technologies for future space missions, and an open door for companies, research institutions, and even students around the world to do research in space that have never had the opportunity before all laying the foundation for a robust economy in space. There have been thousands of experiments, hundreds of spacewalks, endless hours of challenges and successes, all done by humans hailing from countries around the globe. The International Space Station is what we can achieve as a planet when we come together to do the things that are hard. And the work isn't slowing down because we're ready for the next giant leap because we're ready to go farther. Because what we do and learn along the way is for the benefit of all of humankind. Now let's talk a little more about Crew Dragon. Crew Dragon, Dragon is the fly itself, but Dragon. Crew Dragon, Crew Dragon, Crew Dragon, Space Dragon. Falcon 9, the Dragon Caps. Up to seven crew members with Dragon. Give Dragon and Dragon to be Dragon in Dragon. And Dragon 6. Dragon was Falcon 9 and Dragon from Dragon is healthy. Dragon is a Dragon splashes safely down back on the Earth. Dragon is headed towards uh, the International Space Station here. And there appeared a great wonder in heaven. 
a woman clothed with the sun and the moon under her feet and upon her head a crown of twelve stars. And she being with child, cried, travailing in birth, and pained to be delivered. And there appeared another wonder in heaven. And behold, a great red dragon, having seven heads and ten horns, and seven crowns upon his heads. And his tail drew the third part of the stars of heaven, and did cast them to the earth. And the dragon stood before the woman, which was ready to be delivered, for to devour her child as soon as it was born. And she brought forth a man-child, who was to rule all nations with the rod of iron. And her child was caught up unto God and to his throne. And the woman fled into the wilderness, where she hath a place prepared of God, that they should feed her there a thousand two hundred and threescore days. And there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon, and the dragon fought and his angels, and prevailed not. Neither was their place found any more in heaven. And the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world. He was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now is come salvation and strength and the kingdom of our God and the power of his Christ. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them before our God day and night. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. And they loved not their lives unto the death. Therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. And when the dragon saw that he was cast unto the earth, he persecuted the woman which brought forth the man-child. And the beast which I saw was like unto a leopard, and his feet were as the feet of a bear, and his mouth as the mouth of a lion the end of the shuttle program. The only ride to the station has been on the Russian Soyuz, but by working with SpaceX and Boeing, there's soon going to be a new fleet of spacecraft capable of bringing humans to low Earth orbit. And the dragon gave him his power and his seat and great authority. And I saw one of his heads, as it were, wounded to death. And his deadly wound was healed, and all the world wondered after the beast. And they worshipped the dragon which gave power unto the beast. And they worshipped the beast, saying, Who is like unto the beast? Who is able to make war with him? And there was given unto him a mouth, speaking great things and blasphemies. And power was given unto him to continue forty and two months. And he opened his mouth in blasphemy against God, to blaspheme his name and his tabernacle and them that dwell in heaven. And it was given unto him to make war with the saints and to overcome them, and power was given him over all kindreds and tongues and nations. And all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him, whose names are not written in the book of life of the Lamb, slain from the foundation of the world. If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. And I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth, and he had two horns like a lamb, and he spake as a dragon. And he exerciseth all the power of the first beast before him, and causeth the earth and them which dwell therein to worship the first beast, whose deadly wound was healed. And he doeth great wonders, so that he maketh fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men, and deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast, which had the wound by a sword and did live. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. Artificial intelligence is what? Uh, it's just digital intelligence. And um, as the algorithms and the hardware improve, that digital intelligence will exceed biological intelligence by a substantial margin. It's obvious. Um, Excuse me, how could AI destroy civilization? You know, it would be something in the same way that humans destroyed the habitat of primates. I mean, it, it, it wouldn't necessarily be destroyed, but we might be relegated to a small corner of the world. We might be relegated to a small corner of the world. We might be relegated to a small corner of the world. 
your neuroscience company, and you're working to build basically an interface to the brain. Interface to the brain. Yeah. Electrode to neuron interface at a mic micro level. Okay, what is it? Like, I'm gonna have like a plug in my head that's gonna fit into mm -hmm. a hard drive? Like, okay, what is it? Like, I'm gonna have like a plug in my head that's gonna fit into mm -hmm. a hard drive? Like, or how does that work? Yeah, yeah. Ch a chip and a bunch of tiny wires. Or how does that work? Yeah, yeah. Ch a chip and a bunch of tiny wires. Or how does that work? Yeah, yeah. Ch a chip and a bunch of tiny wires. This, this would be implanted surgically. This, this would be implanted surgically. And it would do what? Could you input? Could you download Jim? Mm-hmm. Yes. What? Mm-hmm. Yes. What? Mm-hmm. Yes. What? <laughs> <laughs> the long-term aspiration for Neuralink was would be to achieve a symbiosis with uh, artificial intelligence. Basically, an effort for man to merge with machine in yes. a healthy way. Yes. To basically, an effort for man to merge with machine in yes. a healthy way. Yes. To basically, an effort for man to merge with machine in yes. a healthy way. Yes. To beat machines, you basically have to merge with machines. Most likely, yes. Essentially, how do we ensure that the future constitutes the, the sum of the will of humanity? Um, and so if we have billions of people with the high bandwidth link to the AI extension of themselves, um, and so if we have billions of people with the high bandwidth link to the AI extension of themselves, um, and so if we have billions of people with the high bandwidth link to the AI extension of themselves, it would actually make everyone hyper smart. Okay, so you... So this is very esoteric. Yeah, no, but you say this is more psi than phi, so you believe we're headed this I way. I believe this can be done. When will I be able to get the interface implant? It's probably on the order of a decade. I mean, and by the way, you, you kind of have this already in, in a weird way in that you have uh, a digital tertiary layer in the form of your phone, your, your, your computers. You basically have this, these computing devices that form a, a tertiary layer on your cognition already. So wait, we have that imprint in our brain, uh, implant in our brain. Yeah. We download most of Jim. Then could I, in the digital gym, yes. could I make him a skilled Mandarin speaker or a mm -hmm. tuba player yes. and re-upload it to him? Yeah. Along the way, uh, Neuralink is going to help solve a lot of uh, nerve, ner and just memory. Like, as people get older, they lose their memory. And so it's saying it's like, it's incredibly sad when a mother forgets her own children, um, and that can be solved too. I've seen you speak in person. We've watched some of your interviews. Like, sometimes you seem visibly sad about what's happening. I think we should try to take the set of actions that are most likely to make the future good for humanity. I'm pro, I'm pro human. Um, and my faith in humanity is moving a little shaken this year. And my faith in humanity is moving a little shaken this year. It's moving a little shaken this year. Uh, but I'm still pro humanity. You've said that this has been the toughest year for you, the most sort of taxing yeah. year for you. No one should put this many hours into work. This is not good. People should not work this hard. I'm not, they should not do this. This is too, very painful. Painful in what sense? Uh, it's because my, it hurts my brain and my heart. It hurts. Do you believe in God? I believe, I believe there's some, there's some explanation for this universe, which you might call God. Elon Musk, thank you for an amazing conversation. Okay. Thank, you. thank you, sir. Fascinating. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you very much. Thank appreciate you. it, sir. Um, Excuse me, how could AI destroy civilization? I mean, it's, it's, it wouldn't necessarily be destroyed, but we might be relegated to a small corner of the world. We might be relegated to a small corner of the world. Yeah. Electrode to neuron interface at a mic micro level. Okay, what is it? Like, I'm gonna have like a plug in my head that's gonna fit into mm -hmm. a hard drive? Like, or how does that work? Yeah, yeah. Ch a chip and a bunch of tiny wires. Or how does that work? Yeah, yeah. Ch a chip and a bunch of tiny wires. This, this would be implanted surgically. And it would do what? Could you input? Could you download Jim? Mm hmm. Yes. Well, basically, an effort for man to merge with machine in yes. a healthy way. Yes. Um, and so if we have billions of people with the high bandwidth link to the AI extension of themselves, I mean, it's, it's, it wouldn't necessarily be destroyed, but we might be relegated to a small corner of the world. We might be relegated to a small corner of the world. When will I be able to get the interface implant? It's obvious.
no matter who you are and where you come from, what your history is, what your background is, what your beliefs are, just take note of this situation here. Um, in the Bible, it, it talks about uh, something happening at the end, and there's a dragon involved, and there's a man that blasphemes God's tabernacle and those that dwell in heaven. And he makes fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men. And uh, this is no joke. And a lot of people, are, that actually almost everybody, doesn't understand what this is. It's a dominion. It's not a government. It's not of men. You don't understand. We're talking about heaven and God's throne being blasphemed. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. And I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth, and he had two horns like a lamb, and he spake as a dragon. <laughs> 